Yeah, so great. It is a beautiful morning here. Man, it even smells good. It is awesome. So this is exactly where it should be. That was my last shot. And that might have just been yeah. a little movement, but yeah, that's 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 perfect. Uh, you know, you know it. If you think that's good. Yeah. Oh, as I said, you know, where you want to shoot is anywhere. Well, you don't got you don't got low at 100. So you want to shoot anywhere over here is, is good. Yeah.
Gone, but fortunately, yeah, I did get back. Thank you. Two hundred sixty-two yards. Sweet, awesome. I felt a lot better, and that I could hear it. Yeah, I could hear that heat. I could hear that. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I see no blood. Oh, <laughs> I was starting to panic. No, I knew he's not going to go too far if he was still alive or, or not. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Very nice. Look at him. Look at those curls. Thank you, Francois. Wow, wow, look at those curls. Beauty. Nice thick neck too on you. That's what I said from the distance. I could yeah. see it, you know. And you just, but you can't really see past that at that distance, uh -huh. the top part of it. And when I saw him now, I could just see those white tips. Yep. Oh, beautiful! I, I love mm -hmm. that deep curl. That is very nice. Wow. You see, age-wise, he's got all these. Look at his teeth. Oh, look how worn. Yeah, he must be 11, 12 years old. This bull. This thick stuff here, you know, you don't see him unless he comes out of these open areas. Let's see how worn he's on this ridge. Yeah, there's kind of the white coming out there too. You know, he's uh, past 10 years. When they mature, they get to about eight years, seven and a half, eight years, and then from eight to, to 10, they're big bulls like this, and then they start losing a bit of condition again when they get to over 10 years. So he's, he's a year or two over that. We spent some time up on top and uh, doing a little glassing. Francois spotted this bull. Uh, mile away, a long, long, long ways away. So uh, we saw him just on the edge of this field, hopped in the truck and, and uh, hustled down here. Made, made a pretty good stock on it. Uh, first couldn't find it, it was back in the shadows, but again, Francois found it. And uh, shortly thereafter, this bull came walking out into the sunlight again and, and a really great shot. So it actually didn't go very far, maybe 50, 60 yards, so uh, that was, uh, was awesome. I, I really want to thank Francois and Bob Grant Safaris. Uh, they've been fabulous so far, and of course, I mean, what a beautiful kudu, right? He just, does, just doesn't get any nicer than that, thanks.
Went on a pretty good hike here, uh, looking for, mainly for bushbuck to start with. I uh, stayed down in the river bottoms. I saw some eland, saw a couple of young yellow bulls, uh, area where they bait for bush pigs. That was awesome. Uh, we've seen some zebra and uh, impala down here. Uh, beautiful country. It's, uh, it's been, a, been a good walk, and uh, we'll see what we can see next. Some impala up here, a group of rams, a couple of really nice ones. We're gonna go see if we can get a little closer and maybe get a shot.
ourselves and Paula we were after slipped away they actually hit it up over the hill just before we got there but um, did a little glassing too found another group of four rams uh, turned out um, one of them was decent but not quite mature so we're gonna keep looking doing a little prank right here a tape of fishing line a little spider to the fridge so that when somebody opens it to get a drink it drops on them <laughs> Did you just film me? <laughs> what? It was a terrible reaction. Did it do it to you? It was not what I was hoping for. Did it do it to you? I didn't even see it. mount it for me in a stacked pedestal mm -hmm. and um, black on top because I think that's the prettiest color mm -hmm. and then do that in a euro mount a euro mount <coughs> yeah. oh you mean like just like just the skull the skulls yeah but you, did you did you want the black spring buck head yeah, on the top, but the... But, but then the rest of it... No, all of it, your amount. Oh, all of it, your amount. So there's no skin on any of it? Right. Okay. How would you be able to tell what color which one was? Well, can't you tell just by the way the skulls look? They're all the uh, aren't this, Aren't the... Wait. The aren't this... Same. Isn't the black skull, like, black? No. no, 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 no. And the no, white skull's white, no, and the no, 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 no. and the they're common one is, is striped. They're <laughs> no, they're all white. He's making a joke. <laughs> you are being a stinker. Thanks for playing along with me, guys. <laughs>
Didn't even run off, did he? <clears throat> I thought I heard a whap, but well, it could have been anything, right? Could have been a rock or. Mm -hmm. Just, just load, just get ready in case you know Jeffrey gets the jackers. Hey, maybe he runs see him again. Kijk daar rond. Maybe just a little higher. Other side of that bush maybe. Hit him! Okay. That's him? Yeah, he's got him there. Found him? Got him in the spot here. Yeah. Oh, that distance. Two thirteen. Two thirteen. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, give you another cap here. Yeah, he broke it off. Yeah. The old one. Yeah. All those teeth. This one is also going to break over there, you can see it's got that one also got like that. Uh -huh. It'll give you another, another little cap there, two horns. This is what it is. Very nice. Took a little hike this morning, looking down into some canyons and across, looking for bush buck, diker, and uh, Francois spotted this one and uh, got set up on it, about 200 yards. Uh, kept moving on us through the brush. And uh, fortunately, he came into a little bit of an opening and and turned broadside, and so 213 yards put him down. Really, really quite excited about that. Yes.
så der blev så det meget lysvært. Okay, well, whew, that was good. That was a fun stock. Actually got in a lot closer than I thought we would. But 110 yards, uh, just slightly quartering away. Really great shot. Head buried in a bush. Um, hit him a little bit high that first shot. Put him down. But uh, the way he was kicking, he, he jumped back up again. So I had to put another shot in, but that put him right down. So. Look at this bad boy, really excited, <laughs> especially yeah. after that first impala, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Good dream. Impala can be a tough animal. He, he's the animal that gets wounded the most that we don't find with uh, impala. They tend to, to run a long way you know, if they're wounded. Well done. I believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go have a look. See the difference between the other ones that we were seeing and, the, and this one. Yes, yeah, this for is, sure. This is the quality you're looking for. Yeah, look at the, the length and the width. Uh -huh. the you won't run up, you won't stand up for that shot. The first shot would have been farthing somewhere up here. Very nice. Beautiful condition too. Wow, wow. This is gorgeous. Excellent. Love those ridges and the beautiful curves, and look at that length. Uh, it's just oh wow, wow! Beautiful, beautiful Impala ram. Uh, Francois spotted this one from the road uh, about 200 plus yards. We we. Uh, Stalked in, actually got quite a bit closer than I expected. We got into about 110 yards on him. Didn't know we were there. Uh, so got a, a really good shot. Uh, first shot on this ram. Uh, dropped and uh, Francois told me better stay on him. And uh, he was kicking and before you knew it, he was up and on his feet and running off again. So put a second shot in him and dropped him. And um, but man, what a beautiful ram. Really, uh, really excited about this. Impala, of course, is one of my favorite, just classic African animals. So very, very excited with this beautiful ram. All right, it's cooling down a bit. We're gonna take another walk through the bush. We've seen actually quite a few animals uh, in the last little bit. Just not any bush buck yet, but that and war dog is what we're really focusing on right now. We'll see what we can find.
really great afternoon. Actually did a lot of hiking around here, uh, glassing. Saw a lot of animals. Actually saw some great sable, um, some kudu bulls, um, but didn't. I actually found a couple of good warthogs, like I mentioned earlier, but just nothing big enough to shoot yet. It's getting dark now, so we are now going to do a little night hunt. And so I'm excited about that. See a whole different set of animals and uh, also maybe see a bush buck that's hanging out and see if I can get a shot at one of those. So we'll check in again. So the, uh, the night drive was awesome. Uh, the bush buck were just not accommodating tonight, but didn't see a single one, but we saw a lot of other animals. We saw a lot of kudu, uh, including one shooter bull. We saw some nyala bulls, uh, tons and tons of impala. So uh, it was a great time. We, we really had a great time, but uh, no bush buck so far. So we'll try it again tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dave. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> 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 you got to give him a kiss. Yes. Oh, yeah. I got to give him a kiss. Okay, well, just from our side, um, before we say Grace, Dave, man, happy birthday, and may you have Thank another 60 odd. I'm sure the way you look now, you've got another a long way to go. Oh, nice, look at Enjoy. that. Enjoy. Some, uh, some nice socks from Africa. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice. All right, so beautiful misty morning here, and uh, we're gonna walk this cut line and look for some bush buck this morning. Maybe a warthog, we'll see. Well, I know why PHs and cameramen stay in such good shape. Because <laughs> we're taking a heck of a lot of walk-arounds, uh, uh, but it's great. It's, uh, 
we saw an incredible amount of sign in there. There's a lot of animals in here. It's just so dang thick that you just have to catch them at the right time out in an opening. But uh, didn't have any luck with that this morning, but great walk around. Uh, the, the weather is good. Can't complain about anything. It's just beautiful here, beautiful. So uh, we're gonna take a drive up to uh, more open areas right now and see what we can find up there. So uh, we're in the big open area up on top. I've seen a lot of blessed buck and ostrich up here. Um, my my real two focus species were uh, bush buck and, and warthog, but we're just not seeing them as I've been talking about. So um, my my next option is blessed buck. There's a couple of rams that have their territories right here close to us. We've come in on them. They they went up and over the hill with some uh, with some females. But uh, I think we're gonna expect them to come back up and over the hill and into their territory, a little areas, and we're gonna just waiting for them here to see if we can get a good shot. Bad shot. What can I say? 217 yards, and uh, had it right on his chest. Pulled the trigger, and nothing. So I don't know. I don't know what happened, but uh, um, we'll go get him. We shot that blessed buck earlier. We saw it, uh, spotted some over on this far ridge, and we're going to try to get around them. Wind's blowing this way, so we're going to have to swing out a little bit so we got the wind in our favor. But see if we can't get in on them and make a better shot. I did go to the range just before this. Rifle still spot on, so who knows what happened? I think locust with COVID. That's what got in the way of my bullet. Missed.
Exciting. There were a couple of lone rams right down here at the bottom. Wind's blowing pretty good. Um, unfortunately, they were straight downwind of us, so when we got within range, they were gone. Um, but uh, working with Jeffrey, there were some more right, right over to our right, and uh, actually had some bulls coming right at us. In fact, one really, really nice bull coming straight at us. Uh, and he just wouldn't stop. I was on him, but uh, just just wouldn't stop long enough to give me a shot. And then he saw us, and poof, he was gone, and took the rest of them with him. So I don't know how many how many plus buck went by. It's maybe 30, 40, and, and some zebra and some impalas. Um, but we got to go find a new set. than Pilates. So uh, I think when I get back to my room, if I turn sideways in the mirror, I'm going to disappear. But uh, anyway, a lot of walking in the wind, but the wind is just killing us right now. It's swirling around. And so they're smelling us before we get in range. Time to go look for a bush buck. for sure.
Well, we were on our way to go find bush buck. We thought we were done with the blessed buck, but uh, came over the hill. Uh, Francois saw a herd of these blessed buck rams that were out, out here a ways. So we stopped the truck, jumped off, made our way over. Uh, Francois took us right through the middle of some sort of big thorn bush set up there, but, uh, but uh, luckily made uh, a fine shot. This this guy happened to just be one of the nice mature rams, and he obliged us by standing pretty much broadside, made it a, a lot easier on me. So uh, beautiful, beautiful blast bug. Happy to be here, and thanks, Francois. down here that we went to this morning. Uh, we stopped back in the bush and then we're going to walk the rest of the way in so we don't spook anything that might be there already. Saw a few kudu cows on the way in so beautiful night. Let's go get us a bush buck. Last day in uh, hunting the Black Browns, uh, last day of hunting in South Africa. So, uh, blustery day. Uh, I think the animals are going to be holding tight. We're still going to be looking for bush buck and warthog, but expecting uh, we might not see anything there. So, uh, 
uh, we're going to give it a, uh, our best shot, and uh, if nothing else, maybe we'll come back and look at uh, black or white spring buck on the way back, but it's, a lot of it's going to just depend on this weather and the wind and the rain, so uh, it's been an awesome, awesome trip, and, and I can't say enough good about block runs, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more at the end of this video, but uh, it's been terrific. I did not even dream. Wow, look at that heart shape, Pat. That is just gorgeous. Wow. What an incredible. He's in his prime. Tips and tips and stalls are sharp. Yeah. You know, they wear them down, yeah. you know, about two inches. Oh my gosh, that yeah. is so, so pretty. Well, Man, what a hunt. Started out it's a little rainy and windy this morning. Francois got us over here into this valley that's a little bit out of the wind. Uh, saw quite a few spring buck, um, including a, a couple black rams. And um, this one, Francois just got us on them. Had, uh, had a herd coming by and, and luckily they stopped about 250 yards. Francois got me on the sticks and and I made the shot, so man, what a beautiful, beautiful spring buck. I, 
I really only dreamed before I came here that I could get one that looked this pretty with, the, with those horns. So thank you to Francois and Blaucrans. Really appreciate that. Let's go for it. This is my exercise spot where I can do my sit-ups. I need to get me a truck and set up like this. I want to try, I want to get one of these things. This one is a little bit over, right? It is. I really thought it was going to be sour. Good stuff, prickly pear. special occasion here tonight uh, it's the the first 2022 bush king award the incumbent 
for this year it was uh, a very difficult hunt a very interesting hunt I'm a bad shot. <laughs> and um, but we're very happy to award this uh, bush king award to dan over here this evening please come over here dan First time, Kina's gonna put the, the necklace around your neck. Oh. Okay, wait, hang on now, Tina. We gotta get it nicely arranged. Right, well, Dan, Dan Rogers is gonna be the first uh, recipient of this award for 2022. This is uh, for everyone who hunts a bush at Blowcrans, gets their name. Uh, etched into history on this uh, board over here. So congratulations, Dan. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Hunt. awesome hunt. There you go. Dan. Big names. Big names there. Yeah, so... Um, I'd like to thank everybody that, that uh, came and hunted here with us, including the professional hunters, including the staff, it is wonderful having your whole group here, Dave. And thanks for bringing the fellows around. We appreciate that and we'd like to see you more often. We're trying to work out how long we've had the association. And we spoke about something like about 19 years, yeah? Yeah, I've, I've known you longer than that. The first time I hunted here was in 2008. 2008. That was the first time I, I came. That's 12 and we've known each other for longer than that. But in any event, we're hoping to know each other for much longer. Right. But thank you everybody, nice to have you and thanks for the good hunt that you, everybody had, I'm sure, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the facilities and you're always welcome to return. And good luck for your studies. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been an incredible trip, one that I've been really in the back of my mind planning since I was a little boy. If this is uh, a trip to Africa has been my number one bucket list item ever since I was little. And uh, to make it happen finally has just been really a dream come true. Um, you know, we planned to come back in 2020. We'd actually started planning the trip in late 2018 uh, put it together and then of course two weeks before we boarded our plane to get here is when COVID shut everything down so we have been waiting for an additional two years and just preparing and um, dreaming and and uh, it's it's uh, it's been a long time coming the trip itself though has been just beyond my expectations uh, we spent uh, five days hunting here on Blaukrans in South Africa. The amount of game here is incredible. The uh, the the landscape is just is beautiful. It's and the the ranch here, the farm is vast. There there's just so much land, so many animals. We've seen all the plains game you can imagine, really that, that you would find in South Africa. So. Uh, I gotta say, the, the Redmonds who own Blaukrans have just got a first class operation. They've taken great care of us, the food has been fantastic, their, their hospitality has been wonderful, the PHs, the trackers have all just been top notch. We've really just had fun with, with them and enjoyed our stay there. The accommodations here have been just out of this world, beautiful. and. Um, you know this this trip, I've I've taken more animals than I than I could have imagined. You know I I lived in Texas for a while, and they have a lot of African animals there. Um, and for the price of one kudu in Texas, you can actually fly to South Africa and shoot ten animals in their native habitat here and have the real experience. I mean, this is the real deal. This, this is this is real deal. And um, one of the things that I might have worried about before I came and things that I heard about hunting in South Africa is that you're hunting a lot of small acreage properties with high fences 
where the animals really are not true roaming. It's just put and take kind of hunting, which, which is just not my thing. And I've got to tell you right now, Blaukrans is not that. Blaukrans is, like I said, it's vast. It is humongous. It's about 100 square miles of contiguous property. So these animals that you see here, um, they, they live their whole lives here and, and uh, can roam completely free. When you hunt here, it is a hunt. You are really searching for those animals and uh, you're putting in the work and putting in the miles and that really just, when you finally take that trophy animal, uh, it just makes it so worthwhile. It's, uh, you feel like you've accomplished something. So uh, this trip has just been fabulous. I, again, I can't say enough about the Rudmans and Blaukrantz and the whole experience that we've had here. And I uh, also want to put in a uh, plug for Igala Productions. The, these guys have done such a fantastic job of following me around and uh, making sure they're getting the shots and, and uh, really the whole experience of being here. They have done a first class job. I've loved them, loved working with Purin and uh, Steven and I uh, can't say enough for them either. So when you're down this way, look them up. You'll be happy that you did.